Serving in high office is an honour and privilege. It is also a heavy responsibility. That is true at any time, but especially when the stakes are so high. And negotiating the UK's withdrawal from the EU after 40 years and building from the ground up a new and enduring relationship for the good of our children and grandchildren is a matter of the highest consequence. It touches almost every area of our national life, a whole economy and virtually every job, the livelihoods of our fellow citizens, our integrity as a United Kingdom of four nations, our safety and security, all of these are at stake. My approach throughout has been to put the national interest first, not a partisan interest, and certainly not my own political interest. I do not judge harshly those of my colleagues who seek to do the same, but who reach a different conclusion. They must do what they believe to be right, just as I do. I'm sorry that they've chosen to leave the government, and I thank them for their service. But I believe with every fibre of my being that the course I have set out is the right one for our country and all our people. From the very beginning, I have known what I wanted to deliver for the British people, to honour their vote in the referendum. Yes, difficult and sometimes uncomfortable decisions have had to be made. I understand fully that there are some who are unhappy with those compromises, but this deal delivers what people voted for and it is in the national interest. And we can only secure it if we unite behind the agreement reached in Cabinet yesterday. If we do not move forward with that agreement, nobody can know for sure the consequences that will follow. It would be to take a path of deep and grave uncertainty when the British people just want us to get on with it. They are looking to the Conservative Party to deliver. To deliver a Brexit that works for the whole UK. A strong economy that keeps jobs safe and wages rising. And first-class public services we can rely on. An NHS there for all of us, great schools for every child, and the homes that families need. That is what the people we serve expect, and that is what we owe it to them to deliver. I'm going to do my job of getting the best deal for Britain. I'm going to do my job of getting a deal that is in the national interest. When the vote comes before the House of Commons, MPs will be doing their job. They will need to look at that uh, a deal, they will need to consider the vote of the British people to leave the European Union and our duty to deliver on that vote. And of course, they will be held to account by their constituents for the decisions that they take. And am I going to see this through? Yes. Prime Minister, you're a cricket fan. From the outside, it looks like at the moment you're a long, long way off getting the number of runs that you need, but your batsmen are dropping like flies. Is there any number of wickets that will fall in your cabinet before you resign as captain? Well, can I, can I just say that you might, uh, you might recall from previous uh, comments I've made about cricket that one of my cricket heroes was always Geoffrey Boycott. And what did you know about Geoffrey Boycott? Geoffrey Boycott stuck to it and he got the runs in the end. Thank you.